Is Barack Obama the Antichrist? Well, let's do the math. If you've read the Bible, you know that the telltale number to look for is 666. So at 675, Barack Hussein Obama doesn't quite add up to evil incarnate. So then, what about Hillary Clinton? Some people see Hillary as a very scary person, but at 767, her numbers tell us that no matter how many times you investigate her, you won't find any direct link to Satan. What about Bill, you ask? Whatever sins he may have committed as the adulterer in the White House, or at least one of them, still, he comes out to 797. So that proves that he did not have intercourse with the devil. So then, how about George W. Bush? Some people thought he was pretty bad, but as you can see from his numbers, once again, W comes up short by a couple of digits. And that being the case, his father, with almost the same name, obviously wouldn't qualify as pure evil either. But how about his vice president? Looking at Dick Cheney's numbers, you'd have to conclude that when he was working the dark side, if you will, that he must have been freelancing. So maybe Al Gore? By the numbers, he did win the 2000 election. But the inconvenient truth is that no matter how you count, in the race for the embodiment of ultimate evil, Albert Arnold Gore comes in exactly tied with George Walker Bush. And going back to Jimmy Carter, it looks like whatever lust he may have had in his heart, at 546, he just didn't qualify as the devil's handyman. So what about the other guys, the ones before Carter? Looking at every one of them, going back all the way to Washington, only two Democrats even come close, which shouldn't surprise Republicans. But evidently, the vision for Johnson's great society didn't come from the Prince of Darkness. And when Wilson wanted to make the world safe for democracy, he apparently wasn't trying to make it safe for the Lord of the Underworld as well. So that's everybody, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute, I forgot one. But hey, we certainly don't have to worry about Ronald Reagan, do we? Oh no, maybe we do. Look at that. Does this mean that Ronald Reagan sold our country to the devil and put us on a path to certain destruction? Well, numbers don't lie, do they? <laughs>